Old Dub uh, still continues to grow in the Philippines. Um, is anybody else surprised it's sort of gone this long? Uh, but, but it seems that the the fact is it sort of follows the original dating rituals and very traditional Filipino um, rules, which are stuff we used to have in the West, um, not so much these days. Um, but it's just got to that stage now where they're actually going to allow the two people to actually um, be themselves as a couple etc you know sort of be on their own um, now I know a lot of Westerners are gonna go well what, what's, what's this got to do with the expat stuff well it was just, there was actually a, a bit that actually interested me today because they're they're doing this thing at the uh, arena up in Manila and the tickets sold out in an hour and more importantly all the proceeds will go uh, to actually help with developing libraries around the Philippines for schools which is why I'm interested um, now it's funny that it's like, uh, I, there's Filipinos everywhere globally they're watching this um, I think it's because it, it's the way a lot of people would have liked relationships to be or still want them to be where there's a lot more control over it um, and it's a lot more well thought out you know because I think today in the modern world things are rushed too much people are like uh, meet up sexual relations etc and they don't even know each other but if you have this period of time of courtship you understand each other because instead of like trying to ram your tongue down each other's throat you're actually sitting there talking and getting to know the person and I think if more people did that there'd be less mistakes on the planet you know because people actually communicate you know and work things out between themselves um, but also if you've got the family there as well it keeps everybody on a, a tight keel so you know every, an even keel so it's not people messing around and things which I think is good I think it's good um, well I said I'm very I decided to plug it today because of the charity stuff cause I thought that's re really good that they're giving away the money from the event um, to actually do some good in the Philippines libraries is something I'm very very strong about um, because People say that none of people use libraries in the UK, which is why they're putting these multimedia idiot centres in. Um, I'm against them. Uh, a library's for books, um, audio books, 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 <laughs> um, Kindles, etc. But it's not for computers. Uh, the reason being is it's taking people away from the primary function which is reading um, so I'm all for real libraries and not interested in multimedia centers etc etc because it takes people away from the main function of a library which is reading um, but anyway a big thumbs up for up this week then uh, for actually doing something outside of the uh, I wouldn't say the norm because they seem to have taken off quite well and well supported by Filipinos globally. Um, there's a Twitter heat chart somewhere that actually shows the how far flung the followers are because <laughs> um, obviously you've got Filipinos working in oil and gas and stuff in Africa, the Middle East, you've got people in sh working on ships, you've got people um, in Europe etc. The, it's a fairly global following and of, of course the US but I wouldn't forget them US Canada etc be interested to actually have a look because there might actually be some people that are in locations that we don't even know exist <laughs> you know South America for example I don't know how many Filipinos are in South America but obviously there's a lot of gas and stuff there anyway thanks for watching